With a filter like this, it's not always obvious how to interact with it, so we should add some instructions. In the device, there's custom constructions or some preset instructions here, and we want to tell the user to look left and right. So let's see all instructions and see what we can find. There's different categories for different types of interactions, but we can just search for turn. There's a few options here, but turn your head is a good one. So we'll insert that, and that adds some patches here, all tangled up. So what it's doing is it's using the runtime, which we've used earlier, and it's checking if it's less than five, it's enabled. And once it's greater than five, it'll disappear. So if we reset the viewport, you can see down here it says turn your head, which is this little code in here. And what I like to do is add a little bit more logic to this. I don't necessarily want text on the screen right when it starts, because I want the user to have a second to figure out what's going on. So let's check if it's less than five seconds and the runtime is greater than two seconds. And we can change this to seven, just so it's still up for five seconds in total. Now we plug all this together and restart this again. So now you can see when both are active, it'll be visible. But for those first two seconds, because it's not greater than two, the second Boolean will be empty or off. So that way, when it first opens, you're not going to have text in the middle of the screen saying, turn your head. And to find where these tokens are listed, head over to Project, Edit Properties, and under Capabilities. And then in here, there's this little Instructions tab. And in Custom Instructions, here's that token, turn head. And here you can add additional instructions, and that'll add that to the list. And then from here, you can copy this text and paste it into here. Or if you have even more nodes set up, you can input different information into this. So you can have multiple different instructions in one filter.